Scorpio. Hi Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Ori. This week we're going deep. We're looking at what energies you need. And the cards I drew three days ago, I've been trying to understand the uh, connections and just what the fuck's up here, okay? And the very first card that came to you is the father. It fits very well, I just did this without, okay, without my introduction. I will go back to why it fits very well to this energy, but let's first my introduction. So, if you want a personalized version of this reading, this is something that I offer. My email address you find in the box below. And if this story does not resonate with your story, do check out your other signs as you might be having some stories over there. And thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes and comments. Thank you for your love. Okay, why it fits the f that I show the card before even this? Introduction. Well, the father, of course, is the divine masculine energy here. Okay, and what it reminds me of, this reminds me also of Mars, the red planet, whatever, this is a coin, but right now for me it's the Mars. This is also universal energy. It's just the divine masculine, okay? Which you are... Some of you are already aligning with it. Some of you are um, uh, not, okay? And I'm here to tell you that you should tap into your masculine energies as well, yang energy. Why the Mars came around is one of your planets is Mars. Now, Scorpio is supposed to be a water planet, um, water sign ruled by Pluto and historically by Mars and for some with, by Pluto and Mars and for me also by Pluto and Mars so um, Pluto is looking for boundaries or rather testing boundaries how far can I go kind of and Mars now you did all that okay this is the energy uh, message I'm getting and Mars is just doing. That's why the father was like, now the first card, even before all the structure, you know, it's just does, 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 okay? Now, the funny thing is, it's not only about, of course, being the mask, uh, embodying the masculine energy. You can try that for one day, you can try that for whatever, for some time, but the most perfect is the balance of the two, which we got here by, um, this is from the Vision Quest, and, okay, it's like, it's supposed to be strength, but it's something else, okay, so, but strength is, and life force, is that perfect balance of the two forces, yin and yang, in each other, and we all have it, yeah, um, and being free to love that from sacred geometry cards being free to love that now there are some other energies here which I will just get back let me see what do we have here three hmm that's interesting that might speak to that that rune you got Gebo and um, it's air energy and the affirmation is uh, so yeah Gable it's it's about giving and taking in harmony with everything okay and the affirmation is I am now ready to give and take with balance <sighs> I am now ready to give and take with balance now the other cards you got Interestingly enough, uh, passion. In this deck, it's called passion. It's like the devil energy. I mean, it's 15. And here we have Neptune and Leo energy. Whatever that, you know. <laughs> I like this deck, it's really playing with astrology. Because normally it's not Neptune and Leo with. Uh, um, 
with the devil. Maybe it is actually, it is, you know. Um, but we would just think Capricorn, Sun, but now they get to take uh, in Neptune in Leo. And funny thing is, I mean, and you got the death here from the um, Labyrinth Tarot. <laughs> so you have all your energies here combined with a lot of ecstasy here, okay? So now, the other um, rune you got is Vunjo, ecstasy and original joy. And the affirmation for that is, that's also air energy. I am dancing through my life with ease and glee. I dance through my life with ease and glee. And this life force here, you got, is just a reaffirmation of that. This is also ecstasy, the very original ecstasy. This is, actually, this, no words can speak of this energy. No human words reach that, because the words belong to the mind and this person's dance, this or this original ecstasy joy just it's something else, okay? It's pure life energy. It's all over here. Um, now because with the passion you're known to be passionate, right? And what does this person have? Is it looks like a scorpion's tail. And they already have some stinging earth creature here. And Mars is also passionate, isn't it? Very much passionate. Um, yeah, let's just give me a moment here. We'll ask what this death is about to Tara. Um, but with this passion... Ah, it's funny with these numbers as well. Now, here, here we have 48 heart toros. So this is some muscle that we have in us. I think in our heart, or if seven muscles we have forming like this, and it's the form of Earth's energetic field. Um, so this is about tapping into your heart. Yeah? Um, so, what the numbers here you got from the sacred geometry now, 30, 3, 0, 0 is the full, it's Mars energy, but 3 is feminine, and here you have 48, 4 is masculine, the emperor, and 3 is the empress, and 8 is the strength, balancing the two, and 0 is the full, which is the Mars energy. Now. It all aligns very well. I'm just trying to get to the... So far... We have the vague main view on this. But let's ask the tarot of Sorcerer's Tarot. Um, first things first, what's this death about? Showing up to your reading. Here. Um, okay, what's this death about for Scorpio, please? What's this death? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Spirit guy says yeah. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Now that's. That's interesting. Give me a moment here. Okay. And let's soak this in. Uh, 
You're taking a big leap. You're taking a big leap into your Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're doing. Almost killing this Nine of Pentacles. Energy here. Hmm. Killing this Nine of Pentacles energy with the intention to go to your Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay. Uh, but let's ask what to come what energy come because you know your intention is the ten of pentacles, right? This lady looks so look at the face Yeah, it doesn't look, look content. I can understand why you wanna end this Yeah, here is a raven so some strong spiritual energies are around you. Uh, uh, but let's see, there is a, actually there is, I see very much a warning here from the spirit guides. They are saying something. Let's ask, what's, the, what's to look out for? What's the warning? Okay, what's the warning here? Oh, Scorpio. What's the warning here? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. So, wow, okay. First things first, it says give it, give it good time. Uh, maybe you need to go through this Nine of uh, Pentacles energy for a longer time, which might be more comfortable for you, even if you're alone. You cannot maybe force it, I don't know. Let's ask what will come if Scorpio just kills this Nine of Pentacles energy, right? With its lovely tail. I love you, Scorpio. You're so gentle creatures. Gentle, gentle. Um, oh, but I'm after that we got the Fool talking about the leap into the Ten of Pentacles and mentioning the Fool before. Okay, so what would come if Scorpio would just jump into... Ooh, let's see. High Priestess. Mm. Now, okay, wow, so the answers are pretty clear that it's not just to answer here in this video, just quickly, you know, so, so what happened, it's maybe different, it's of course, yeah, it's gonna be different for each and every one of you. And it looks divinely guided, so go with your gut feeling, go with your self, go with yourself, yeah, decide on your own and not because what I said. Um, yeah. And the Queen of Wands on the bottom. Ready, strong, fire energy there. <sighs> oh. Did I say all? Oh yeah, and then the th third rune you got is Otola. Um, descended, any, um, descended wisdom inheritance. Surviving wisdom inheritance, something like that. And the affirmation for that, well, look at the opening arms. I respect the roots, oh, sorry, I respect my roots and the gifts of my ancestors. I respect my roots and the gifts of my ancestors. Now this can be physical ancestors, like literal bodily, but it can also be soul, soul ancestors, star ancestors. We have them both on, not even both, it's not polarity. We have an all, okay? Let's ask what angel of ancestor, uh, <laughs> what angels of Atlantis give for Scorpio. Which one are coming for Scorpio? I mean, they all are, they are saying, but for this reading's sake. Which ones are coming? Here. Raphael Cleansing will help you. 
Again the ecstasy! Oh my god, Scorpio! What's happening? Bottom of the deck is the ecstasy again. You're... You are... Wow, you're enjoying the Pisces season, I can tell you that. But, um, wow. Like, so much joy. I never had so much joy in a reading. It's just every card is coming out giving joy. <laughs> Amazing. And cleansing. Let's read what cleansing is telling us. And, um, here. Raphael. I love Raphael. Raphael loves me too. Water and fire are the forces. Oh my god, what did we just talk about with the Pluto and fire, Mars? <sighs> this is intense around here, okay? Water and fire are the forces brought by the Oracle to draw you into the harmony that Raphael wishes for you. Perhaps you have been recently experiencing situations that evolved beyond your, beyond their creative potential and now need purifying. If so, use these strong elemental forces to cleanse them by drenching the substances in water or by burning the idea in fire. Both measures literally release the energy to the elements, thus transforming them from negative into positive. Wow. And transforming, burning, renewing, recycling, this is all your energy as well. And after Pisces, so Pisces you're enjoying because you're a water sign and you feel understood. After Pisces comes the Aries, ruled by Mars. So wow, Scorpio, enjoy your time. None of us get two months in a row full of our energies. Actually, I do three. Because Cancer, Leo and Virgo. I have a lot of Cancer, Leo and Virgo in my chart. So anyway, yeah. And what light worker oracle is coming towards you? Let's invocate this. Let's read you an invocation. Oh. Which light worker oracle card is coming for Scorpio? Which one? Unplug from mass consciousness. Wow. Okay. This is uh, very much an obvious message around here. Let's see. The invocation. <sighs> of my own free will, I now ask for spiritual intervention and divine protection through the guidance that loves me unconditionally. I now request a thorough and complete removal of any entity, thought, form, belief system, cord, <sighs> attachment, or conditioning from my body, mind, soul that does not resonate with the pure frequency of unconditional love. I ask for this process to happen with divine mercy, wisdom and blessing. I call upon my own inner power and strength to listen for my truths and stand in the light of those truths at the perfect time and in the perfect way with the loving and empowering assistance of my spiritual team. Through divine grace and my own spiritual authority, so be it. May all beings be blessed by divine love. May all beings be happy and free. Just what we talked about, actually. <coughs> wow. So be it, Scorpio. So be it, lovely beings. Thank you for being on this earth. We appreciate your existence. And, um, yeah, until next time, be gentle with yourselves and all those around you. Bye.